Um, this is an area that I walk in every day of my life. Now and then I'm always passing here, see how the people are doing. I hold rallies here. So it is like home, coming home to me. And I, I resonate with the people because their struggle is my struggle. What results are you hoping for yourself and for the PDM? Well, the PDM is going to get, uh, it's, it's, it's a night of big surprises for PDM. We are going to grow probably five times and the result for the presidential election could be a neck to neck because I'm, I'm, we have run an oil campaign. If you run throughout the whole country, if you go to the Bindu, we are the party that is everywhere. We have been mobilizing for the last five years. So we, we hope to gain exponentially. Ten years ago, I couldn't have dared voting. Voting here, people would have stoned me. Today I'm welcome. And, and it is consistent work that we have put on the ground over a number of years. Do you think these elections are free and fair? The elections are the... the they, they, they can never be free because of the EVM, because the EVM machine does not really address the question of transparency of the vote. So it's an election process on which we are having a number of issues, issues of transparency. EVM does not guarantee transparency without a verifiable audited paper trail. We are worried about Angolan, Southern Angolan voters voting in our elections because a lot of people are, are registered through sworn statements. So it is very, it is too early to declare the election at this moment free and fair. We are waiting at all the activities and as, for as long as I receive collations from all my mobilizers throughout the whole countries and ground forces, I could be able to make that, that sound judgment to say whether the election was at least credible. We are not talking about the results. We will accept the results if, if the processes are implemented to the letter of the law. And finally, do you have a message for Namibians voting or not voting today? I, my message is very simple to the people of Namibia. This is our moment of change. We must rise to the occasion to vote for change, to vote for me, to vote for a party that would implement socio-economic policies that would put our people back to get jobs in their lives, to get homes, to get toilets, to get facilities, a government that would be leaner, a minimum government with a maximum governance, uh, lowering taxes so that more and more people can spend more on their money and be able to attract enough foreign direct investment in the country and make sure that small and medium enterprises can be able to move forward. So their vote today would be a vote to make their lives better. So every Namibian, wherever you are, every, whichever hamlet and village you are, make sure that you rise to the occasion and vote for change today. Thank you very much. Just raise your voice. How important do you feel the relationships are with members, even after the Well, there is a, I always tell my party as a leader that there is always an election after an election. My election campaign for the next election would, would, would start after this election result. That's how we are. And we have created a synergy and relationship with the voters. So our party has been consistent around the country with the downtrodden, talking to industries, consulting, knowing the issues. If you ask me any industrial, any industry issues in this country, I, could, I would tell you, I would be able to tell you at the fingertips of my, my fingers because I engage strategies on them.